Thank you, Jim. <laughs> Thank you, Jim. Thank you very much. Uh, and good morning to everybody also from uh, my side. I'm very happy to be here in New York as we have some great news to share. When we started our collaboration with Ford, we already announced to further expand it. And during the last months, project teams on both sides worked very hard to make that happen. Now we are ready to take the next step. As Jim said, our joint investment in Argo AI will provide us with a one-of-a-kind self-driving system technology. It will enable Volkswagen and Ford to design and manufacture SDS vehicles based on this technology. From our perspective, this is a win-win situation. The collaboration brings some of the smartest people in the field of autonomous driving together. Software and hardware experts work side by side to tackle the challenge of developing a safely deployable autonomous vehicle. And all of them have unparalleled access to the vehicle manufacturing expertise of two of the world's largest automakers. In return, Volkswagen and Ford get the world's best SDS platform with the most compelling technology. In the past months, we thoroughly evaluated all options for our approach towards autonomous driving. In joining forces with Argo AI, we found the best solution for Volkswagen. We can share significant R&D costs in the high triple-digit million dollar area, and that's for Volkswagen alone. We will accelerate speed to market. Volkswagen will make use of the SDS platform by commercializing it in a vehicle in the early 2020s. Together, we will make the Argo AI platform a global industry standard. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the strategic logic behind joining our forces. The transaction closing is envisaged for the first half of 2020, subject to clearance by antitrust authorities and other regulatory bodies. Then Argo AI and AID will be able to operationally function as one fully integrated enterprise. Safer, smarter, more convenient, with a digital core, the use cases for self-driving technology and their benefits are numerous across our industry and beyond. In combination with the global trend towards the electric drive, we have a powerful lever for the CO2-free mobility of the future. Now, the automotive industry can make a substantial difference. As you might know, at the current point in time, around 14% of CO2 emissions worldwide stem from the transport sector. Airplanes, ships, passenger cars, trucks. Volkswagen AG's passenger car brands alone are responsible for 1% of global CO2 emissions through the use of their vehicles. We aim to reduce this to zero, not at least because the whole automobile industry needs to comply with strict regulation requirements worldwide. The EU Commission has set stricter, very strict CO2 limits. Fleet emissions are to decrease by a further 37.5% by 2030 compared to 21. And we are still far away from meeting 21's target. We will make that happen. However, the requirements entail a fundamental structural change. The electric drive will play the pivotal role in this endeavor. For the foreseeable future, it will remain the best and most efficient way of cutting CO2 in road traffic. Based on a mileage of about 200,000 kilometers or 124,000 miles, an electric car uses around 400 watt hours per kilometer across its entire life cycle, including all the manufacturing and battery manufacturing. This means it is able to operate in a much more efficient way than other alternative drives. The fuel cell or synthetic fuels may gain importance in the medium and long term, most likely for electrifying heavy and long distance vehicles. However, 
we do not foresee greater market penetration even in the light vehicle segment until the middle of the next decade. Neither the fuel cell or synthetic fuels will be available at reasonable prices or at an industrial scale. This is why we are making enormous efforts to expand our already approved e-mobility transformation program, which comprises an investment volume of 30 billion euros. Electric cars will have to make up over 40% of our sales in Europe only by 2030. It also makes sense from an economic point of view. Today, powertrain production costs are lowest for ECEs. But many experts estimate that stricter regulations on emissions will necessitate adaption of expensive, very expensive technologies. They expect BEF and ICE powertrains to be at the same level in the next, within the next few years. We at Volkswagen embark on this new era with a massive commitment. Already in 2016, we decided to invest over $7 billion to create a radically new and dedicated modular toolkit system tailor-made for the needs of electric vehicles. Designed as an all-electric platform from the very beginning, it makes optimal use of the latest technologies in terms of customer experience, scalability, and versatility, range, and also digital services. We aim to make the MEB a new standard for our industry and thus turn the electric car from a niche product into a mass phenomenon. The MEB enables ranges in excess of 550 kilometers or 340 miles in accordance with WLTP. Application areas for the MEB range from high volume small city cars and large limousines through the electrically powered camper vans. The platform can also be used to build niche vehicles. The more cars that are manufactured using this platform, the cheaper they become and the faster the penetration of e-mobility is driven. A compelling advantage for customers as well as, well as states requesting more and more cleaner vehicle solutions for their respective cities and therefore for the society. At Volkswagen, we intend to produce around 15 million vehicles on the MEB over the next 10 years. Volkswagen alone is already developing and producing 27 different models on the MEB platform in the first wave, increasing to almost 70 models by 2028. The first model, the ID3, is going to hit the European streets in 2020. Around 24,000 cars have already been pre-ordered. Ladies and gentlemen, in March we have decided to open the MEB to partners as it is of utmost importance to scale the e-mobility as fast as possible. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm very proud that Ford is going to join us on this way. Jim, you are the first additional OEM to utilize the MEB platform for high volume European zero emission vehicle production. We have agreed on supplying 600,000 MEB platform systems, including battery packs and structural parts. And in addition, we are currently in discussions for an all new supply agreement for a second vehicle already. It could almost double the supply of our MEB platform to Ford, and we hope to reach an agreement in the near future. Without any doubt, this is an important milestone for Volkswagen and potentially for every other OEM. Opening the MEB drives down production costs, creates cost-saving potentials, and allows for electric vehicles at an attractive price. This will lead to a broader global adoption of electric vehicles and finally to sustainable and profitable growth whilst keeping our promise to society. At long last, the electric drive is picking up momentum. Driving electric will be our future. Also, it is already happening today, paving all of the way for the autonomous driving of the not too distant future. I'm now handing over to AI CEO Brian Zaleski, who will take you on a deep dive into Argo, 
AIs, where is he here, into Argo AIs technology. Welcome, Brian. <laughs>